Okay, so welcome back to the link reaction. And this takes place in the matrix of the mitochondrion. Only if oxygen is present. To recycle NAD and FAD. If it can't do that, then it's not going to happen. So, remember where we started from. We started off with our pyruvate got three carbons and this has come in from the cytoplasm and the glycolysis reactions. They're made in glycolysis. And the first thing that happens to our pyruvate, not the only thing that happens to it in link reaction, is it's going to get made into, I'll call it acetate like it is in the booklet, which is two carbons. So, we're taking away a carbon, but we can't just take away, you know, a chunk of carbon, it's like coal. So, I'm going to take it away as carbon dioxide. What's the enzyme that does that? The enzyme that does takes away carbon dioxide is our decarboxylase enzyme. So if we're taking one carbon away from three, we're going to end up with a two carbon compound. We also need to take away some hydrogen. That's the relationship between pyruvate and acetate. Pyruvate has one less carbon dioxide and a less hydrogen. So we're also taking away a hydrogen. What do we do with all our hydrogen that we take it away? Give it to NAD to make NADH. And again, our enzyme to take away hydrogen is a dehydrogenase. So in this reaction, Pyruvate is decarboxylated and it's lost to hydrogen, oxidation is lost, it is oxidised and our NADH is reduced. And what we make is this two carbon compound called acetate. Now that's not the end of the story because to get into the next series of reactions on Krebs cycle, acetate needs a bit of a helping hand. So it joins to a coenzyme. And the coenzyme it joins to is coenzyme A. It's no more complicated than that. So again, we're now going to add our something in. So we're adding in, uh, just choosing a colour. We're going to add in there coenzyme A. So the other thing that's going on here is that acetate joins to coenzyme A making acetyl coenzyme A and of course you've got this product of carbon dioxide so, important things about the link reaction, probably the most important thing about the re link reaction is that 
per molecule of glucose in, gl in glycolysis will make two pyruvates so this happens twice per molecule of glucose. Reason? Because we've made two pyruvates from each molecule of glucose. So in an exam you may have to say, you know, what, what's going on in a link reaction starting with one pyruvate, uh, which would lead to one turn of the Krebs cycle. Or you might have to say what's happening per molecule of glucose, particularly in terms of, say, carbon dioxide release or the number of NADHs and then linking that into ATP production.